and welcome to a sewing video. It's been a while and I know you guys seem to love them. Now, whether you are a sewer or not, I hope that this video inspires you to get creative and make something with your hands. I just find that something amazing happens when we use that creative part of our brain, especially as moms who sometimes feel like all we do is the mundane routine tasks. So let's jump right into this video. I hope you enjoy it and hit that like button for me if you like this kind of content. Let's go. So if you're new to my channel, I do enjoy sewing my own clothes when I have the chance. Um, it's something I've been putting over the, on the back burner for the last little bit. I've just been so busy, but it is time to sew again. I find that since I'm pregnant, um, I just want to be in dresses. They're just so easy. There's no, it's not hard at all to figure out an outfit when you just have a comfortable dress to slip on and a dress that, you know, kind of grows with you. A knit dress can be very like fluid and movable and just very comfy. So I want to sew some dresses like that. Um, so let's jump back to yesterday when I cut them out. I'll just show you a little bit how it goes and at the end we'll do a reveal. Okay, I'm going to make um, replicas of this dress here. Um, but there's a few problems with it. I got this one from the Main Street Exchange and I told them I would have bought it in every color if they had it, but thank the Lord they didn't have it in a lot of colors because I'll tell you the problems. One, I wanna sew this and I wanna do a double bodice, which means I'll do two linings of fabric. That way it's not so see-through, clingy. I feel like you can see lines in the back especially. And then I might raise the waist just a little bit um, so it doesn't like cut off the bump, but I feel like if I leave it this way after I have a baby, um, I like it more because the waist will be more like a natural waistline. Um, so I'm not totally 100% sure on that yet. And then I wanted to do it in prints because prints just cover more dirt. They cover lines and things like that. You don't have to worry about them getting stained as quickly because it, I don't know, it just hides it better. And then I also wanted to make it like at least two or three inches longer. Um, yeah, it's knee length. I like it to be a little bit below my knees. So other than that, it's like a perfect dress. I just want it longer, I want it lined, and I want it in a solid. So yeah, other than that, I really, really like it. And I have a similar one from Amazon. It has the same problems and the same benefits as well. This one just has like a wider scoop neck, which I'm not in love with. Um, I feel like I have to wear an undershirt underneath it. I'm gonna put a sweater on while I'm cutting this dress out just because I don't feel like, yeah, I don't know. I, I have to edit this video later and I'm afraid they'll be like, lines showing and stuff which might not bother you but it's gonna bother me so anyway it's cool in the house so it's fine so i'm gonna go step out there and show you the fabric i'm using oh and i just wanted to point out this little detail at the waist it has just like a little turnover and i think that looks really cute kind of hides the gathers where they start i really like that added detail so i think i'm gonna try for it in my versions of this dress anyway let's get sewing so here are the two fabrics that I got. I really love them. This one is like an almost black navy background with like some white, uh, just like dancing florals on there. And it's a really nice sturdy knit. I feel like it might be a little warm um, because it's like almost like a sweatery type of knit on this side, but it feels on this side like it will not pill at all. It feels really good, so I'm excited about that one. I got this one out at So Unique Fabric. Um, and yeah, I got two yards of that. And then this one I got from Elegant Threads. They're on Facebook and they open their shop just different times because she's like a stay-at-home mom. So it's not always open. But this is like a true double brush poly. So it's not quite as much body, but it's very, very soft. And it's this really pretty rust color with kind of like a medallion just sprinkled on it. It's almost solid-y, so I'm hoping it still hides stains. These are my two pieces and we'll see how they sew up. Okay, the first step for cutting out a dress is always clearing off the table, moving away all the chairs so they are out of the way. I used to love cutting all my sewing projects on the kitchen floor, but I kind of moved away from that with kids around and stuff, and so now I'm used to working on the table. So we'll do the table here for this one, but if you ever watch some of my older sewing videos, you will see I get right down there on the floor and I just cut it out that way, and you have unlimited space, um, it's great. Don't forget to watch my kitchen refresh if you missed that to see a couple of new things I added to my kitchen to make it a little more fun, a little more colorful, and just a little more updated. Okay, you probably noticed the AirPod in my ear. It's not an AirPod. I can link it down below. It's from Amazon. Um, but I am currently listening to um, Jennifer from The Daily Connoisseur on YouTube, and she's currently talking about therapeutic 
homemaking, which is not how I do homemaking at all. I usually just try to like get through my chores as fast as I can so I can go do something fun with the kids. But anyway, I'm learning some good tips that I should probably be applying. And when that video is done, I'm probably gonna switch over to a podcast, maybe The Clutter Bug or something like that. Um, I see one here that I wanted to watch that's called uh, Identifying Your Time Sucks for a More Productive Life. So that's what I'm listening to. And I'm using my own basic handmade pattern that me and my mom created probably 10 years ago. So I'm just gonna use this for the basic bodice part. But if you wanna do this, you could totally go ahead. I've done this before. And cut out your dress by copying a bought dress, you know, just laying out the pieces and figuring it out. But I have other videos on that if you'd like to watch it. Okay, so I got down to the end of my length of fabric and I don't have enough room to do my last front bodice piece. So I'm actually going to take my sleeve pattern and I'm gonna stop cutting out bodices here and just slide this fabric over and cut sleeves just in an effort to, I can't do this one-handed, what am I trying? But like in an effort to conserve some fabric and not have, you know, to back myself in a corner and not have enough fabric, I'm going to lay this sleeve out here Oh, look at that, I did it one-handed. Good for you, Megan. Um, I'm gonna cut this out twice, so I have two sleeves. And my sleeves are the same in the front and the back. I know some people have more like darts or gathers or like room, but with knit dresses, it's so easy. It's just, it's really kind of just like a sack, honestly. And it's somehow, like I love how it looks, flowy and just easy, effortless and comfortable. So I'm gonna do the sleeves and then I'll go back and cut one last bodice pattern up at the top and then we'll do the skirts. So far, everything's going good. crisis averted I was just panicking I thought I didn't have enough fabric I knew two yards was cutting it I don't know why like cutting it close I don't know why I did that because um, it's a short dress so I thought two yards would be fine but I'm doubling the bodices so that takes more fabric anyway I think I'm gonna be good so here I have two identical rectangles that are gonna be the skirt but I don't want the skirt to be just a rectangle where I just gather it at the top I just want more of like just a gentle gathering so I'm going to fold these rectangles in half again on top of each other, that way they're identical. And I'm going to taper in at the waist a little bit down into the fullness of the skirt, if that makes any sense at all. Basically, it starts out as a rectangle and I just kind of cut off a little bit towards the waistline. Because I still like to think I'm gonna have a waistline, <laughs> even when I'm very big and pregnant. And I'm gonna save this piece that I cut off and I'm gonna use this as a pattern for my red one when I cut my red dress out so I get the exact same effect. I don't even have to bother like trying to measure and that kind of thing. I'll just lay this piece down and I'll know how much to cut off at the waist. It's probably not technically right, but it works. Okay, my pieces are all laying right here. I'm gonna do one last little thing and make just a tiny little notch in each bodice right where the middle is because I think that's gonna come in handy later when I'm sewing the skirt on. And I'm also gonna do the same thing with the skirt as well. That way I can make sure those are lined up. And um, did I mention I'm making these nursing friendly? Stay tuned till the end and I'll show you how I'm doing that. But um, yeah, you don't have to, it's, it's really a small thing at the very end to make it nursing friendly. So, you know, anybody could use this method. Oh my goodness, I was literally sweating through this whole thing. 
look, that's all the fabric I have left. I am definitely gonna order two and a half yards. I mean, it was enough, it was enough. I guess maybe I did a really, really good job, but I don't know. I was very nervous the whole time um, because it just looked like it, I, yeah, it didn't look like I was gonna have enough. So two yards, there it is. It was not worth it. That was, that was too close. And this I have three yards of, so this is gonna be the other extreme. I'm gonna have gobs of leftovers. But that's okay. Maybe Yvonne would want to dress like this too. I don't know. And I got a really good price. Elegant Threads always has really good prices on their fabric. Rather, is that light glaring? Sorry. I'm running short on time. I want to go swimming this evening with my kids. Josh is out golfing. Um, he's in a golf tournament and all the wives, um, or three of the wives, we're going to go swimming at my friend's place. And so I want to be done here. Do you think they can cut a dress out in 15 minutes? I'll let you know. which is not terrible to cut out a dress. 21 minutes? I actually should be proud of myself, probably. Anyway, I'm getting the kids up. We're gonna go swimming. I'll see you guys later when I'm sewing this thing up in my pretty new office sewing room. I'm so excited. kids are down for their naps. I have my blue dress fabric here, bluish black floral. Um, I have my water with lime in it. <laughs> Just showing you my little setup here. And I'm going to put one of these. This is a grapefruit matcha mate that I got. You can get these at Target. Um, I really like them, but I feel like they need a little bit of a sour bite to them too. Uh, I'm just putting this in my ice water so it will slowly diffuse as time goes on and I'll just throw out the little tab so that's not soaking in my water and I have the kids are down for their nap so I need a little mama treat and I'm not going to be doing an iced coffee today but I picked out the white M&Ms <laughs> in a red white and blue M&M packet I'm just being extra I like how the white matches my room <laughs> plus the kids like the colorful ones so why not anyway and yeah, I'm just gonna cozy up here and so I saw that SJ Strum just uploaded a new video and I need all the baby name ideas right now because I had a boy name and a girl name I loved. I thought Josh liked them too and like two weeks ago he told me mm, I don't really like either of them. So now I'm like, are we back to square one again? Names are, I'm very, very picky with names. Um, anyway, so we'll see if there's any inspiration in this 15 free spirited girl names. No, we don't know what we're having yet, but anyway, I'm going to listen to this and I'm going to get something. the shoulder seams and then I put my two bodices together because remember I'm double lining these so that way it's gonna look like the print on the inside and on the outside on the bodice um, it just looks more expensive that way rather than having just like white underneath and so this is I put it on my body you know to see how it was going to be because I do not want to sew like I know my mom always says a quote put the wrong sides together or the right I forget what the quote is anyway but yeah so I just do it like this. I make sure it's like, okay, this is how I want it finished. <laughs> and then I take this one, the one that's on the top, and I put it on the bottom. So I'm taking the top one off. 
and just draping it over my sewing machine. And then I'm putting this one, same position, on top. And now I'm going to just sew around the necks. And when I'm done, I'll drop it inside the hole and it should work out. So let's see. That's a huge tournament. So Josh just got home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He had off work today. Yes, I did. So last week they won a tournament. Mm -hmm. So how'd you do this time? <laughs> kind of win. No. Second what place. That That's what what did they say? First loser? Bunch of some goodies. What do I got? Josh sidetracked me there, but now I am just basting around the bodice. For some reason, I feel like I'm staying awake. I'm always so tired in the afternoon when I put the kids down for a nap, but today I'm not having any problems staying awake. I think it's because I'm actually sewing and like doing something. Whereas when I'm like editing, I'm just sitting there and the only thing moving is my eyes and my fingers. <laughs> so I need to sew more often. Oh, and I had to laugh. SJ Strum, one of her name suggestions was Nixie for a girl. How many of you know Dutch and know what Nixie means? <laughs> It means naughty, so if I had a little girl and named her Nixie Fox, it would be Naughty Fox. So I have my two skirt pieces here that are extra wide because I'm going to gather them. And then I just sewed a big stitch the whole way across the top here, which you cannot see because it's white thread. But I did do it. And now I'm just going to pull on the one thread. You could do two threads if it was going to be a problem, like do two th gathering stitches. And I'm just going to pull here and bunch up the fabric a little bit till it's the right width to fit into the waistline. And I'm going to do that in the front and the back. Hopefully it's just a little bit, you know, just to give it some dimension and not like poofy poofy. I did a dress one time. Oh my goodness. I actually used it for pictures. Pro tip, if you're doing like a photo shoot, your outfits don't always have to be like they could almost be costumey or like, like they don't have to be super practical because you're just gonna sit there and look nice for pictures. So I used the dress for pictures, but if I tried to wear that dress in real life, I just felt fat and puffy. Um, it looked cute on the pictures, but yeah, I never wore it again because I did too many gathers in it, learned my lesson, I haven't done that since, and I don't want to do that now either. So I just usually add a couple extra inches and then gather it in rather than like doubling the fabric or something like that. I mean, I guess if you want a ton, like that looks really cute on little girls, like that big poofy mushroom look, but I don't want that for myself. So anyway, hopefully this is just the right amount. Sewing was going great. I mean, it's okay. It's nothing that can't be undone, but I've been humming along here. Look what I just did. So here is my bodice with my sleeves. Look what I did with the skirt. <laughs> I sewed it on the wrong direction. Oh my word, imagine me walking around like this. Anyway, so now I have to rip it off and sew it back on. It was the dumb, like, rookie mistake. I don't know why I did that, because I'm not a rookie. <laughs> I mean, that is so frustrating. Anyway, so I'm gonna rip. This is why podcasts are great when you're sewing because you can like think about something else. I'm gonna rip this out and flip it around and do it again. To make the waist have that little fold over detail that I was talking about earlier, I am just going to take the bodice, now that they're sewed together, and just literally make a tuck. It's hard to see with this pattern, but make a tuck, fold it down like that, and then I'm going to move my needle over as far as I can go to make this tuck as wide as possible. And I'm going to pin this down, I'm going to sew across on the front, and I'll do this on the front and the back, and then I'll do the side seams. I don't think it's going to have the same effect as it did with the solid gray fabric because it's so busy. But I still like the little detail and I think I'm going to, yeah, do it anyway, even if it might not be <laughs> super um, noticeable. It at least will, I don't know, I'll know it's there. So that's what counts, right? <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, so that took exactly two hours and that was without the kids being awake. So tomorrow I'm gonna sew the other dress while I still have my sewing machine set up and everything. And I will be curious to see how long it takes with two kids running around. We will see, they usually play really well together, but they need to tomorrow because I really wanna get that done. Um, and usually the second dress goes faster. I did finish the first one and I will do a reveal later at the end of the video. Anyway, so I stopped and I'm going to get supper started and I just thought I'd show you a quick supper that I'm making because <laughs> everybody knows when you're sewing, um, you just don't have time for a lot of other things like cleaning the house and cooking from scratch. So I have a little help from Aldi. I'm using their tikka masala sauce and they have a couple different flavors of their simmer sauces but basically I'm just gonna take this and add some peppers to it and chicken. I'll fry up the chicken first and get it nice and caramelized. Uh, at the same time, I'm gonna be making rice. I have this fried rice, a fried buttered rice recipe that I used to be my favorite right when I was young married. Um, my church, the ladies from the church I went to, they put a whole book together for me of their favorite recipes. And so I, I should really make more of them, um, but I've, I've made several. Anyway, this fried buttered rice just has really stuck around and I'm gonna use jasmine rice because I just love that flavor and I need to use it up because <laughs> I have it. So that's what we're having for supper tonight. I will probably add carrots to the fried rice just to add a little more veggies. And maybe I'll do, I have like veggies and dip in the fridge if I think we need some more veggies. I don't know. There's also peppers in the sauce. So I don't know, but it's just a quick, easy supper. And that's what we're making tonight. I'll show you the finished product, but this isn't a cooking video. So you can stay tuned for next week's video. I will be including a lot of cooking in that one. But yeah, I'm gonna get this stuff started and then get the kids up from their naps and I'll see you guys tomorrow when we're sewing again. It is Tuesday morning. I'm ready to sew again. Um, I'm also nuts and I'm gonna be potty training at the same time. It should be okay. It's not the first day or anything. He's doing better. Um, but if you see any weird cuts or anything odd or funny cropping or something, it's probably because my son is running around with no pants on. Anyway, that doesn't need to be here on YouTube. So I'm gonna be doing that. Sew in. I have a carpet guy coming at 11 to measure some carpet up. Um, so hopefully I can get this done. If I get, if I get started now, it's 9.30. Means I'll be done by 11.30. Maybe we can go on a walk later. I don't know. I want to show you how they fit. I mean, I know how the one fits already, but I have, don't have the other one done yet. So I'm going to get sewn on the rust colored dress and we'll see how it goes from here. Here's Fletcher. Fletcher, how old are you? I like to Ten. bike. What do you like to do in the summertime? Bike. Bike and what else? Coloring and playing dog and playing chalk. These are my favorite fun things. Okay, and distracting mommy when she's sewing? I'm a good distraction. <laughs> yes, you are. I just wanted to show you this little addition to my wall that's hanging here over my shoulder. Coffee Design Co. sent me some like verses to remember when you're feeling stressed out or uncertain. 
Um, and so I thought a couple of them went really well with the color scheme in here, so I stuck them up on the wall. It's just nice to have them hovering here and I can like read them while I'm working. Clothes in the dryer. Well, that's being a good mommy. And the dryer gets them wet, and then I put them in the dryer. Well, the washer makes them wet, not the dryer. Yeah, washer and then the dryer. Five, one, two, three, four, five. They're successfully trashing the toy room. It took me only half an hour extra sewing the other dress than this one. That's with like the kids' distractions and stuff. So not too bad. Um, I had to do like one little ripping thing again, but for the most part it went fine. Let me show you the dress. It's not perfect. I have a few critiques that if I do another one, I'm gonna change it up a little bit, but let me show you both dresses and see what you guys think. I think they will be perfect for summertime. Okay, so here is the first one. Fits great. Um, there's gonna be plenty of room throughout the summer. Um, in fact, it kind of just makes it look like I'm not even pregnant right now because it's just baggy. So this would be kind of flattering on anyone. You can't see this tuck very well. Um, I didn't make it very big and also the pattern is really busy, but you'll see it on the other dress how good it looks. It has a few gathers throughout, but not very many. If I would do it again, I would definitely cut the skirt wider if I remember to buy more fabric. <laughs> not two yards. I need two and a half. I need to remember that. Um, but yeah, I feel like it's just such an easy breezy throw on and go dress. The length got perfect, a lot better than the two that I had earlier. Um, this is more of a length I'm more comfortable with. And the sleeves, just a basic simple sleeve, simple round neckline. Yeah, let me know what you guys think. I, again, I will leave my sources down below where I got my fabric. I'll also try to find a link to my sewing machine um, and I'll link as much as I can that's in my office space here too. But let's show you the last dress yet. Okay, and here is the last one. I love the color, so pretty, and I could just picture myself wearing this July 4th week. Um, again, I did not press either of these dresses yet, so the necklines look a little unsmooth, but I'll get that with the iron. And here this one is. It has so much nice movement to it. I definitely love the double brush poly. Again, not a lot of gathers. I would add a few more if I was doing it again, but I wanted to draw attention to the waistline here. I personally think this got really good. So I double top stitched. Um, this is what it looks like underneath. Here's the actual waist. So if you wanted to do this yourself, just make sure your waist isn't super high to start with um, and you should be fine. I really like that. Just adds a little detail, looks intentional. Um, and then I just did, I didn't double top stitch the sleeves or the hem. It's just a basic single seam. But yeah, this one, I love how it drapes, how it flows. The length is so nice. And I just see myself wearing this one a lot in the summertime. The back does not look really any different. It's definitely not form-fitting at all, which I like my dresses to look like they fit, but not necessarily in this stage of life with expanding <laughs> over the summer. Um, it's gonna be nice to have that extra room. Another thing I can't quite understand is why this neck got so like boat-necked. It's, it's very much wider than the other one, and I cut them the exact same way. It must just be the way that this doesn't have as much body to it with a double brush poly. I don't know, but yes, so cute. I can picture this with some white sandals, maybe like a jean jacket in the evening when it gets colder. <laughs> it's like 90 degrees out there, guys, and it's only lunchtime. Like, it's only gonna get hotter, so I don't know. Maybe the jean jacket's wishful thinking. So sorry for the abrupt ending, but I hope you enjoyed this one. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you are a seamstress or not, or I wanna be seamstress. I don't know. 
Let me know if this video inspired you to make anything handmade. I would love to hear about it and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye everyone.